Hi y'all, check it out, here we go again. I'm still working on this beam here and I had to make a little wedge, right? Because this, the roof line is sloped, but I need my beams to be level. So what I did was, well, let me find them here. I took some Unistrut and I cut it and then the part that was already rounded at the bottom, I kind of bent it over a little more. And so these are my little wedge spacers. They slip up above the unistrut like this. I don't know why you guys can see that. Like this, so that it'll suck up like that. And I kind of did a little test with some little pieces then I made some bigger spacers and I think we're good to go. So. Y'all keep watching. I'm going to get back to putting these things in. So let's get to work. Okay, y'all, check it out. Here we go. So we got the unit strut, channel strut, super strut, whatever you want to call it in. I got the strut in and I got it leveled up this way. So good to go now next thing I gotta do is put my conduit in and I think I'm gonna do that maybe tomorrow I'm about done for today that's all we're doing for today I uh, didn't get to use the little wedge idea that I had didn't really work out too well but Nana had the idea she called it the just a girl plan and that was to stack up some washers so what I did instead of stacking up washers is I took the uh, super mag Unistrut washers or super strut washers, square washers. I turn them on the side and then screwed them in at whatever height I need to get that strut level. So it's all leveled up now, nice and tight. Looks good. That's all we're doing for today. We'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Well, good morning, y'all. Here we go again. Get back at it. Hopefully, I'm going to get this done today. We'll see. Whether we get it done or not. So we're going to get back to work. Keep watching. Good morning y'all it's another great day that the lord has made i will rejoice and be glad in it today we're gonna do some more electrical imagine that right so probably this week hopefully i'll finish all the electrical we'll see how much time i get to work but we're gonna keep trucking right so we finished up this circuit or this portion of this circuit i guess i should say because these two lights are tied to the other portion other portion the other lights on the lean to on the other side of the building which would be back behind the camper or i guess in front of the camper because it's that's the front of the property so along that side over there is the lean to so we're going to move our stuff around there and we're going to start working over there and hopefully we'll get that done this week we'll see how much time i get to work on it all right Y'all keep watching. Let's get back to work. Okay, y'all, there you go. That's it for today. Got my lights up in the front section. Obviously, they're not wired. I haven't got the conduit yet, so now we'll just continue on down the line all the way down to there. I have two lights in this section and then two more lights down there. So that's the plan. We'll keep going. 
thanks for watching appreciate it hope you enjoyed the video if you enjoyed it give us a thumbs up if you didn't enjoy it well you can give us a thumbs down that's okay we understand not every video is for every viewer and we're okay with that but either way leave us some comments good comments bad comments and different comments not foul comments so this is a family channel we'll have to throw those things out appreciate it check us out on social media at living cooper on pinterest twitter and instagram as well as check out our blog over livingcooper.com and lastly and probably most importantly is please subscribe hit that notification bell so you're notified next time we upload and check out our other videos we got more property vlog videos we got how-to videos we got product reviews check those out see you guys next time thanks for watching